Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, here with Generation 5 of the Dawn Moon Pack, Atlas III and his mate Breeze, as we are currently racing as quickly as we can back home, carrying a bunch of meat that hopefully we can feed to our sick pup Zephyr, who unfortunately is indeed currently sick and not doing well in the den whatsoever. It is unfortunately another very challenging day for our wolf. So we're going to have to do our very best to be able to race back home, hopefully take something that the pups will be able to go ahead and eat. I'm really worried about this because the fear, he's already dropped quite a bit on his sickness. Oh man, the fleas are very irritating. Now that we have marked and strengthened this spot of territory, we're going to head straight back to the den. And then I'm gonna try to find as much food for Zephyr while he's still mostly healthy. I'm going to look for like maybe some rabbits. I'm going to see if we can find uh, perhaps a mule deer carcass, anything that might be able to help him out with recovery. A challenging day is really difficult for our wolves. Unfortunately, poor Atlas and Breeze are having such a hard time. Whereas B and Cliff in the Generation 5 Dark Moon pack, as you guys have seen, B is kind of skipping through the day, even when she has to go ahead and fight cougars for the breakfast that she is going to bring back to the wolf den, or even when she needs to go ahead and like fight off another pack member, or like another pack trying to literally steal her pups out of their den. That was really ridiculous. And she's just had such a dramatic life, but still comes out on top. And meanwhile, honestly, Atlas and Breeze, they've just sort of been hounded by these dark shadows all around them from the very beginning. If you remember, Atlas and Breeze were patrolling for a den and it took them forever to be able to find these rocky dens that they decided to call home. And they kept being surrounded by so many dead wolves, the scent of just dead wolves all to the south. So we came up north, then ended up in a huge inter-pack fight between Prospect Peak, the Blood Moon Pack, and all of the dispersals who seem to be trying to establish a pack foothold here. So even though Atlas and Breeze haven't taken part of any of that fighting, they've really tried to stay out of the way. They just seem to be surrounded by shadows and it worries me quite a bit, my friends. I'm really hoping we're going to be able to fight against fate here and keep our pups alive, especially because there's only three of them. Okay, good. We already have a hair carcass here. There's not much of it, but at least there's something. And Zephyr, there you are, little buddy. So he is very sick right now, and he's the one who looks the most like Atlas and the only boy, if I remember correctly. Yep, he is the only boy. What is it with only having two boys out of, let's see, there were seven, were there six? Six pups in Bee's litter, and then three pups here, so eight pups, and only like two of them ended up being boys. And somehow both of the boys just ended up quite sick. Oh, Zephyr, your sisters didn't let you eat at all. All right, let's feed him again. Whisper and Echo completely pushed him out of the way for food. And they're doing it again. <laughs> all right, thankfully, I think their stomachs are almost too full. Come on, Zephyr. All right, we'll try to leave more food for him. Echo, I almost wonder if they can sense that he's not doing well. The way that sometimes animals can do. And if they realize, like, if they push hard, they might be able to go ahead. Oh, there you are, Echo. They might be able to go ahead and get extra food while their brother is down. That sounds terrible, but it reminds me of the way that nestlings in a nest of hatched chicks will actually go ahead and push their siblings out of the way because it's every baby bird for themselves. If you ever want to see like true brutality in the wild, just looking at a, a nest full of baby nestlings, I always feel like that's what does it for me because they, they don't care about each other. They're going to completely try to just walk all over one another. All right, hang on there, little ones. Oh, I really hope this doesn't become the new famous up close picture of the adorable wolf pup right before he passes away that we ended up having between Bee and her pup, Jet. All right, Zephyr. He's down to 88% already, but he is full up on food. Let's get pack affinity to 100% by playing with the pups. We can actually howl now that we're back home. 
Where did Breeze go? Breeze is somewhere around here. Oh, there she is. She's keeping an eye on the the up. I see a shadow, but it's a bald tail or eagle with its white tail, so we don't need to worry about it coming to eat our pups. Oh, geez. Okay, there's a lot of Prospect Peak <laughs> responses to our howling. I love that you can see which group is replying to you now. All right, Zephyr is staying by the den. Whisper and Echo are kind of getting a little far away. Oh, look at that. That was so cute. They just rolled right onto their back like, no, no, dad. We totally weren't playing in the tall grasses where you can't see us in case we try to get eaten by a coyote. Come on, Whisper. All right, let's bring you back up here. There we go. And Atlas is actually getting really tired and he is hurt. So now that Pack Affinity is at 100%, I'm actually gonna have him sleep, which I know is always kind of risky to do when you have a sick pup, but it's probably far more risky to allow Atlas to become so fatigued that we can't fight anything off. Now that they have updated it so that when your stamina is low, your wolves actually become weaker, we just cannot take any risks. Oh, Zephyr, how are you doing? Oh, but man, that takes such a hit out of his health. <gasps> He's eating the hair on his own. <gasps> Newborn ungulates. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to do this because maybe this will be the magic recipe to get Zephyr feeling good. All right, let's go ahead and make sure he's topped up on food. And then we're going to, yeah, the pups are already at 100% when it comes to their mood. And the newborn babies are here. So maybe if we find some sort of delectable tiny fawn, sorry, little fawns, then we might be able to help Zephyr stay alive and well. Uh, but let's go ahead and do that. Walt's tea is still. All right, whisper, oh, oh man. Okay, raid, raid. Where are they coming? The, it, we're on challenging too, so that's not ideal. All right, right here. I'm gonna let Breeze chase. It was Prospect Peak again, and I actually think that was one of the alpha females of Prospect Peak. Oh, did she chase off my my newborn ungulate? Oh, I, hate, I hate that. I hate it when she shows up and does that. All right, but we're gonna we're gonna start searching. Let's follow. I can never find the baby, like the babies that we're trying to find when we are regurgitated meat. That was us, probably a little bit our fault. Oh, I hear Prospect Peak in the distance. All right, look, we're still close enough to the den. I'm gonna go ahead and howl and reassert. This is our place. Unlike the the activity yesterday, oh wait, yeah. Oh, there's still some of our carcass we killed? That's not worth it to go that far for such a slim chance of a little bit of regurgitated food. Instead, we're gonna start searching for ungulates. Oh, Prospect Peak is just having a howl party tonight. Oh man. Do I smell anything? We'll come down south because I might be able to find something to feed our little guy, Zephyr. A lot. Aha! Uh -huh. See? Yes! Okay, there is indeed an elk. Okay, we're gonna have to do, because it's nighttime, we're gonna have to do my usual strategy. And if you guys have a better strategy for being able to figure out where the newborn babies are, do let me know. I love how Breeze is supposed to be mute, by the way. <laughs> and she's having like a howl off battle. Okay, this wouldn't count because we're outside of the music. And she's having a howl off battle with the others. All right, let's see. I wish like even the patches of grass would just be a slightly different color when you sniffed it. It doesn't even have to have the newborn in it. I just need to be able to find where the grass is at night. Over here? No. All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta find food. 
probably fastest. Where'd the mom go? Is she over here? Let's see. If I can relocate that mother. Ah, oh, see, this is so hard. Especially at night. I feel like I could just blast past them without realizing it. Okay, what's this? Grizzly bear. Well, I could bite the butt of a bear. What on earth is going on with all of the howling? Okay, we've gone too far again. There's a den nearby though. Okay, somewhere around here. But not here. Okay, come on, Breeze. This would be the perfect place to search. I don't even know what we're looking for. I just know it sounds like there's a mother something something. What's that? Coyotes? Okay, we'll ignore them. They aren't food, we have a sick pup. We can't take forever about this. Okay, it's not gonna be here. Ah! This is literally the ideal scenario I requested. Of being near, like, open areas where we could search for these babies. Alright, we'll have to potentially give up this strat in just a second and maybe look for something else. Is there just a loan? Baby and motherhood. Baby and motherhood. Where? Give me that scent again. Where's the scent of a baby and mother? Okay. Okay. Maybe this will be better. Let's follow. Let's follow this. Maybe there is some sort of scent we can follow. Anything here or here or here? We're here as we ping pong through. All right, we're getting tired. All right, maybe we'll look out and be able to just follow this herd then. So I wonder when it says baby and mother if you can zero in on a better spot to search for some of these babies. Gosh, I'm really worried about Zephyr as well. This is this is gonna be really rough. Oh. Okay. Well I don't see any babies. And this is gonna be challenging still. But oof, oof. Let's see. Gotta dodge because I don't wanna get hurt. But let's see who is slowest amongst these elk. These two are kind of like, no, you stay back. No, you stay back. They really, okay, these guys definitely not. This one seems to already be limping. Okay, not really. What about down here? Wow, the herds scatter so much, like, more dramatically now. Not really. Probably need to make up my decision, like, make up my mind soon, though. Is doing all these little test bites is not really helping me. This one? No, not really. However, I mean, at least it's a couple bites. They all seem to have a lot of stamina right now. All right, I think we're just gonna have to go for it. We can't turn down, we can't be picky when we've got like a hungry pup back home. All right, come on, Breeze. I'm gonna need your help on this or else we're not gonna be able to do this because this cow elk is way stronger than I wanted her to be. Oh, come on. At least Atlas is really good at being able to kind of take the hits. But you can't take that many hits. All right, let's see. Maybe if I come up and around and we can start getting her to turn around a little bit. Okay, come on, Atlas, get your stamina back. Plus, I think you can actually exhaust the elk now because that is really, evolutionarily, the benefit of being a wolf is that you're able to kind of lope along, lope along, lope along. And you're able to 
outpace. Okay, that looked like a mother elk just kind of standing around. Do I turn around now when we've already gone so far? Oh my gosh, there's so many cow elk. We've already... Ah! And that one, unfortunately, was super strong. What about this one? She's been separated, please. Oh my gosh, why? The ones in the back are supposed to be weaker. Ah! And now I've taken too many hits. You can't be indecisive like this. It's because I got completely distracted by what looked like a mother elk over here. And I got distracted by what could have been an easy meal. And as a result, I have now lost all of our meals. Oh, this is this could spell disaster for our little herd. It really could. Or uh, our little herd. Oh my gosh. I mean, for our pups. Also, why? Why the angry bison music? Did I manage to make the bison angry on top of this? Oh, just not not a good day for our wolves so far. But here comes the sound of like some baby hiding somewhere in the grasses again. Oh boy. All right, guys. Well, it is a challenging, challenging life for our wolves. We're going to desperately, frantically search for something to be able to take our pups home so that we can sit with little Zafir while he is sick. If you guys could, do please leave a like for poor Atlas and Breeze. I really feel like they're having such a hard time of it. There she is. Oh, we might be able to do this now by seeing where she's going to start running away or running at us. Depending on what grass we go near. Oh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, you guys. Yeah, leave a like in hopes that we'll be able to make the most of this. And if you would like to join us, oh my gosh. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh my goodness, yes! And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, oh, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.